Welcome back to well, welcome back to Cut Buzz with Galen. Hello. Hello. Well, let's let's dive into this this third strata of red rock previously on cud buds i pet a cat you pet i'm two gonna cats. do it again you're gonna pet oh we're starting we're opening on a high note here i'm hoping i win it over eventually that would be kind of legit actually i would love that i'm looking at my cat right now he's lying across two garbage cans and he's staring at me, and I can see his little, uh, his little chest contracting because that's, that's, uh, when he makes a little sound. He's acknowledging my existence. You can hit, uh, plus on your numpad to descend. No? There you go. All right. What's that thing? That's, a, like, a saloon door. Ryan Stock Gate. Okay. And we and got honey. a glass bottle full of honey. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a uh, Snapjaw camp on this floor. So things may What's, get spicy. What all that? What's happening over there? I think that's smoke. Um, you might want to eat some food before you continue. Oh, okay, get golly. Your, get yourself a tiny muffin. Yes. Reference the things not during the recording. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we gave that a shortcut so you didn't have to press the button. I gather some fixing. A rescued boa tooth, not food. A betrothed scribe's left hand, I guess food. And a dash of unilateral trash. Mm, either way. Objectively I mean, not food, sir. that last one. Unilateral trash. I guess like a... One man's trash could be another man's food Big scraps. Mac. <laughs> one man's trash could be another man's Big Mac. Alright, it's very smoky here, and I don't care for it. But I am... sated. You are sated. Collect that honey. Caves of Cud is basically a game about collecting liquids. You took the entire glass bottle. I sure did. That's fine. We don't have to. We don't. Right. No, nah, we don't have to worry about it until you're actually over encumbered. What are you doing? I don't know if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons. Caves of Cud um, is a game about pressing buttons. Um. Um. Go ahead and uh, you can collapse this menu as well with the uh, minus key. Yeah. There you go. Water container. Uh oh. Nope. I see. I see what I did there. There you go. So now, why don't we learn? Uh, let's learn some uh, fluid management. Okay. You, you up for this? This is uh, this is some uh -huh. next level cud bullshit. To be honest. All right. Go down to the glass bottle. Boop, boop. All right, hit space. Now we want to um, pour he. into another container a an empty water skin. Let's see. Three drams. And now it's empty. Now we can drop it. I add a note to it. You can add a note to it. You want to add a note to it? Used to contain honey. <laughs> I O U three honey. Nice. Love that. All right, now you can drop it. Let's see if it has the note. I'm actually curious about this now. Like if you look at it. And there it is. I love that. Oh, the style hints that it originates from the coast of Fuming God Sea on the far side of Mograyi, and that it was likely exported by the Dromads. Uh, the Dromads are a faction of basically camel people that uh, tend to be merchants. 
and love honey. They love wares. Uh, should I do some of this gate? No, I, you don't have to do it. There we go, either. I opened it. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that, if I suppose. I'm expecting um, some Scovilles of Spice on this floor. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice find there. Do you see it? Bedroll. The bedroll, yeah, that's it. No. Um, next to that torch. A blaze A blaze injector. injector. Yeah, that is actually a very good find. And there's actually something next to it, too. You take it. You automatically take it. That's just a good thing. I passed by a fractured <clears throat> microchip. I take it. Yep. I am uh, I'm I am kind of reserving many explanations, so I you let me know if you ever want me to tell you what something is or how it is it's useful. A, it's a microchip. I assume if and when I need to use it, it should become obvious. Uh, that one would not be obvious, no. <laughs> it is useful uh, in a kind of passive sense, but uh, not unless you know what you're doing. Many and much of what we're seeing here is procedurally generated, so none of it is going to be, like, contextually valuable in a, any kind of story or quest sense. We just got a wet now, steel mace. a wet steel mace. I'm pretty sure your nine pneumatic jackhammer is going to carry you to the mid game. Let me let's just have a quick look at that again. I'm just curious what the what is the pen on it? It's not infinite, right? What? Want, the... you, you know, you'll want to go into your uh, equipment on the nine pneumatic jack, jackhammer. Oh, it's only pen 6 actually. I thought it was much more for some reason. Okay. Um the mace is nice. The nano pneumatic jackhammer is still more damage. It's two d six, whereas I think that one on the floor is one d six or one d something. What is the the mace? Oh, I think no. it's on your left. Oh, it's two d two. Okay, so it's a straight up downgrade. So, okay, I, I was uh, wrong about the penetration on the, the jackhammer, but it's still a very good weapon. We are looking to upgrade, though, for sure. We have a little guy. Hello, friend. I have uh, exactly in one playthrough made friends with Snapjaws. It is not easy because they tend to piss everyone off. So making friends with Snapjaws is sort of like making enemies with everyone else. Got a lot of water. Tons of water. It's all brackish though. Get out of here, man. Wow, you absolutely just backhanded that centipede into next Tuesday. Got a little spider town. And a club. And a human corpse. <laughs> Forces of slaughter. Cud really catches me off guard sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. The forces of slaughter rearrange the body parts. That is some next level stuff right there. Uh, dead humans with clubs. Probably cannibals, if we're being honest. Uh, since there's their clubs, uh, cannibals tend to use clubs. You can do an auto explore if you want. Oh. I'm not having much luck with the auto explore. Every prickler. time I use it, it's a prickler. They're prickly. They tend to uh, dole out a, a prickle. 
Ooh. Good find. <laughs> Don't get the chest, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, oh, these are all good options. None, none of that is good. I don't want a vinyl wafer. You can take it if you want. It's free. It's base. It's food. And this sword is dead to me. Yeah, it's not not good. All right. Well, that seems to loop it back around to where I'm from. Let's try a yeah. Let's try another auto explore. Wee. Oh. Ooh, ooh. How did I get over here? Your dude, uh, since he's got a, a jackhammer, um, will actually dig through walls if it's quicker. Um, that is a snapjaw warlord. A little bit spicier, but not not so not too much so. Like, should be not a problem for More you. Friendly. He seems average to me. He does seem average. Oh, oh he's okay, got friends. So that's that's when a snapjaw warlord becomes a bit spicier. You're gonna want to kill their friends before you kill them. Oh, nice. Good use of the bow. Oh, oh, oh! You're going very fast. You you just killed everything. Well, um, that was no. all right. Nothing too problematic there. I still don't think, I don't think we've got our, uh, Snapjaw camp yet. Like, these are little houses for sure. But, um, ooh. Well, we could pick up those daggers. There you go. That's it. This mm. hat does nothing for me. It's got one DV. Okay. Not not really. Your your hat right now is providing you with AV, which is better, by far. Um. Oh, but look how cool it looks on the ground. It does. It is a legit little trilby. <laughs> Actually, I Real think that cool. is that is a genuine fedora. If the if the brim is in fact wide wide, yeah, then yes, it would be a fedora. What was I? All right. Ugh. Hey, you know what just happened there? That was pretty fun. Um, that jilted lover smacked you, but you managed to use uh, your shield. You blocked with with your shield plus one AV. There we go. Take that. There you go. It's always nice when you see like a mechanic uh, in motion. Ooh, ooh, nice. You got another copper nug. Is there other stuff there? No. So um, that stuff on the ground there is trash uh, and like i'm saying that objectively it, like it is literally trash but um one of the skills i was hoping you could take that requires intelligence is called trash divining which uh, lets you rifle through trash for secrets that's a very good skill that jilted lover was so sappy they were, uh... There's the stairs. Told stories of romance. And long-lost lovers. Alright. Yep. This may be our final floor of Red Rock. Got some more tubes. Some more dread tubes. Uh oh Find the critters of the quest. What's eating the water vine? So we have a... Ooh, we got a couple of sp spooky characters. Um, Ready to go. 
He's right to in the darkness, the dark part you can't uh, see. Uh, Gershly. Okay. So the Gershling well. is a uh, is what's eating the water, the water vine. That is a subject of the gyre, I think. I can't remember what they're called. Glow white. Glow white cultist of Glowwold. Uh, He's tough. Ooh, yeah, he is. Um, you may be able to take him. I think. Beneath the umbra of the stinking robe, flesh to me is over the bones of a girl who surrenders her body to the metamorphic human. You might be able to kill it, uh, kill that, but killing that and also a Gershling in, uh, like, s sequence would be difficult. But we can give it a go. Why don't you do one wait? We always have the option of bailing on this fight if it goes sour. Yeah, okay, so that was no problem at all. Um, so why don't we try the Gersh as well? Don't let it get a free attack in. You're going to want to let it come to you. There you go. Nice. Nice. Oh, that pneumatic jackhammer is carrying you so good. Perfect. So you killed it. No, no problem at all. Um, you're going to want to pick up its corpse, uh, which is like diametrically opposed to every advice I've given you. You need the corpse for the quest. There you go. You got it. Completed the quest. So now we Ooh, can box. we can uh, fully explore this floor. There's going to be some more Gershling on this floor. Ooh, is that a is that a floating point or just a normal one? That uh, I don't know what you're talking about? The star on your on your right. That guy, south southeast. Oh. The glow sphere? Oh, is it just a glow sphere? Yeah, it is a glow sphere. Okay. Uh, worth picking up. Worth some money. Floating glow sphere would be better, obviously. Nice. Uh, do I need another buckler? Probably not. Um, I don't think it actually provides much. See, that's, the, that's actually where I think it gets kind of divisive because I don't think it necessarily... I think it does provide more chances for increased AV, but only if you're taking multiple attacks per round. You can take it, but you are wearing a structural bracelet, so I don't actually think you'd... I think you'd probably prefer to have the structural bracelet, but you can sell it. Uh, oh yeah, so I guess to cap off that story, I recently asked, like, the developer... <laughs> How do shields work, actually, though? And they said they don't know. I just, uh, I can't get over that. They don't know. Dev is... I mean, there's a lot of, there's quite a few, um, hands in the, in the, the pie for, for CUD now. There's, it's got quite a extensive development team now. So it's, you know, it's easy to get lost in the weeds. There's a lot of mechanics going on and, and not everyone knows how everything works, but it's just really funny. <clears throat> so I think it would be um, a good idea to like head out of red rock but i will let you know that there is an al alternative option it's spicy okay. though the alternative option is uh to your right is actually an underground river uh and it is in fact where the water vine grows like it's what leads to jopa um it's the river that goes to jopa and is in fact how the gershling has been gaining access to Jopa's water vines. Uh, we can follow it all the way back to Jopa if we wanted to. It is a bit spicy, though. It, it leads into the genuine caves of Cud. And um, it's a little bit less balanced in terms of difficulty. Like, Red Rock is predictable, whereas the caves of Cud can be unpredictable. I guess everything in Cud can be a little bit unpredictable. So we have... You know, 
there's a chance we could find something truly monstrous. Um, but I, I open it to you, the, the option. Take the same Well, I mean, back. so far the only thing that's killed me is uh, my own hubris and gravity. Um, though I assume I'm an invincible. Yeah, alright. That, uh, that, that, that being absolutely. said, <laughs> I stepped away from this wall and I got a lot of things shooting at me. Oh, there's another Gersh. Yeah, I mean, you are doing really well with your nano pneumatic jack jackhammer, for sure. So um, you could potentially do fine. I want to go to the south? Yeah, you want to you wanna get to that south wall and then uh, go to the next tile down, basically. Oh, oh god, you just took some nasty hits from that jilted lover. We want to rest for sure uh, in a safe alcove. Oof. Centipede. Oh, yeah, I mean, things are getting kind of spicier. But you did level up. Oh, you have no idea how lucky you just got. Why am uh, I hitting a glow moth? Yeah, I mean, um, that is the best case scenario to find a, a glow moth. The glow moth is one of the spiciest things you can find early game. And if it had discovered you at any range whatsoever, you probably would have. Yeah, like that kind of range. Yeah, you, you don't want to be here right now. I'm just gonna let you know right now that this is this this is spicy. Oh, I should go back. Yeah, that's like ghost pepper spicy right there. Too many Scovilles for you. Now he did do a lot of damage to you, but you should be able to kill him pretty easily. Um, that was a electrofugue and. They have a mutation that lets them generate electricity, but the nice thing about electricity is that once it's spent, it's spent, and so they need time to generate more. Oh, stop. Get out of here. You can uh, hit the minus key here, and it'll take you straight to the uh, staircase. Yes. <laughs> I like that it went back. It's like, we don't want to go this unsafe way. No. Yes. No. no. That's stairway down. You want to hit the minus key again. Minus is up, and uh, plus is down. That's so counterintuitive. <laughs> Uh, again? Yeah. Splish, splash. Be sloshing around. Oh, a kitty. <laughs> yes. A pet the kitty. Yeah. Good kitty cat. Jilted lover, get out of here. Kill. You know, uh, to... yeah. No, it's a wall in the way. One more. Oh. Uh, your character blast. Oh wait, before we go up, there's a there's a uh, ingredient to your southeast. You want that? I read the lover's blossom. Yeah, you want that. That's good. There, you took it. You're good. I took it and some trash. <laughs> you took the trash. Okay. I did not mean to. <laughs> All right, so we'll do uh, want to do minus one more time, and so we can walk our way back to Jopa. We shouldn't get lost. There you go. We're good. Perfect. 
Um, so let's uh, let's talk to Irudad. We'll want to. Mm -hmm. There you go. Elder Irudad. Elder. Well. Live and drink, Wayfarer. Welcome to the Oasis of Jopa. Here you will find shade and vittle, along with other provisions to help you better scale the rust caves for treasure. Above all else, you may drink of our fresh water and quench your thirst. I return from Red Rock with the corpse of a pale spiderling. Elder, would you examine it? Yes, one. Moon and sun, can it be my grandfather and his grandfather? He, this... This is a Gershling. What's a Gershling? An infernal creature of plague, but not for a millennium has... Why now? You see, Wayfarer, 1,000 years ago, in the last days of the Sultanate, a series of seven plagues called the Gaia spread through and out of Cud. They were a low, stewing punishment for some trespass committed in the soft sludge of Primordium, where even the Sultans reigned. Dot, dot, dot. Oof. A scourge of Gershlings was one of the, these plagues, but Reshef lifted the curse. He cast off his crown and unmade the Sultanate. It makes no sense that the Gershlings will return to eat our crops. Unless... Dot, dot, dot. What a dark tiding this is. There was a rabid black-robed figure with the Gershling. That was a glow white, no doubt. Those maniacal fools worship the Gersh Nephilim as gods. The Gersh Nephilim. The seventh plague, demons born on the moon's stair, quicken to life for the purpose of eating our young. Classic. The chef cast them back before, but if they've returned. That man, your discovery is invaluable to us. We are but poor farmers, and sharpen our vine reapers is all we can do. But there may be others outside of Jopa who can do more. Take these prickly boons as thanks. I will not soon forget your service to us, that man. Please leave me now to amuse on this. Live and drink, my dude. I have received Uber Nostrum Injector, a weird artifact, a salve injector, a salve injector, and a salve injector. Yo, that's a lot of salve injectors. You have finished the step. Return with the critter corpse of the quest. What's eating the water vine? So I'm... Um I'm glad that we're going through this. The, the moon stair has very recently become more uh, relevant. Hey, do you want to name your structural bracelet? Yes, I do. What is it? It scans structures, I assume. Yeah, it's it tells you how um, broken wall is. Um... Wally. So now you can uh, pick what color the text is. Yeah. Wally. Nice. The with the village of Jopa increased by 200 to 160. That's good. That is good. You're now in the in a, in a positive light in Jopa, in Jopa's eyes. Nice. All right. Where can I get rid of some of this trash in my pocket? Uh, let's hit the point of interest dialogue and go to Tam the Dromad Merchant. H. Wee. Wee. Oh, there he is. Hello. Welcome, human. What do you desire? Uh, do I need to talk to him? You don't have to. You can hit tab or uh, just four to begin a trade. Uh, it's, I want to know what he is. All right. I am Dromad friend, a salt strider. My people have walked the salt for thousands of years, meeting every creature that lives and thinks you will not find better, more resourceful traders in all of Cud than a wee. That's nice. Uh, tab. Or tab. Yeah. So, um, 
this is a menu you will want to become accustomed to. <laughs> it's got so much going on. Um, so let's hit go right, and we're going to look at our inventory. Um, you're going to want to hit plus sign on the headlamp, the woven tunic, um, leather moccasins, sturdy sandals of the river wives, the Gershling corpse, which we don't need anymore. And this is basically just offering it all up as a trade. Um, we can skip the food for now. It doesn't actually weigh all that much. You could sell the fungicide grenade if you don't want it. Definitely sell the glow sphere and your torches because they're just taking up valuable space in your inventory. Glow sphere is worth quite a bit for its weight. You can hit um, enter, I think, to add all of something. And yeah, daggers. yours. Sell them daggers. Definitely the jewel encrusted club. We found out, find out that that is actually not worth its weight in drams. It's only four twenty, and it costs it. Uh, it weighed five pounds. We will. Um, it's battle axe. Yeah, we can sell that. Stun rods. We can sell those. We can sell them. They're worth quite a bit, so that it would be worth like you know, we could we could get something, buy something now, and then you know worry about technology later. Um, so we're making some pretty good money here. Um, can I sell him this trash or will that offend him? You can sell the trash. She won't give you anything for it, but uh, it gets you gets it out of your inventory, and it is actually five pounds. So. Uh, what about this wire that was extra? It doesn't weigh anything, so you may as well keep it. Uh, don't sell that stamped data disk. You want to keep that scrap for when you do want to uh, mess with technology. Maybe sell the wooden buckler, since you're already wearing one. And uh, what else? What else we got? We definitely want to keep Jopa Recoiler. Oh, we could have used that. We didn't have to walk back. I forgot that you got that. You kind of want to keep the Copper Nuggets. It'll come up later when we want to get rid of those. Yeah. That's basically it. Okay, so now we want to see what they have to offer. Um, I would recommend buying the Boom Arrows, the Steel Arrows, and the Wooden Arrows. Just so you have plenty of ammo to choose from. You can hit enter again to like put them all on the trade. Oh, there's carbide arrows as well. Actually, yeah, let's do the carbide arrows and the steel arrows and then let's not do the wooden arrows because they just, they're not going to compete with what we've got. And hopefully we'll find something better than a short bow by the time we run out of that stuff. I don't know what the small box is, I'll be honest. I have no idea what that could be. So you could buy it out of curiosity. We'll find out what uh, it is. Is that worth it? Worth it? Uh, it's completely up to luck. It could be worth it. It could not be worth it. I do think that um, some th things will tend to be more expensive if you don't know what it is. Like, I do think merchants will are a little bit scammy in that sense. Like, it's more, worth more if they're selling you something that you don't know the value of. But that being said, you may need to buy it later anyway. Um, can well, you know what? Okay, so since we're here's the, here's the thing, right? You're currently offering 115 drams worth of stuff and you're only buying five drams worth of stuff. Um, hit enter on those copper nuggets. Oh, they have a masterwork musket. Do you want to upgrade to a gun? As opposed to a bow? Yeah. Uh, Yes, so it's up to you. The uh, what you have right now will be pretty good. Um, the boom rose arrows are actually like little mini grenades, which are kind of fun. Uh...
there will probably be easier and cheaper ways of getting a musket, so we don't have to make this yeah, decision no, now. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with arrows for now. All right, but you still want those copper nuggets. Okay. Uh, so now this is a, basically as good as we're going to get. So why don't you hit O on your keyboard? Not well, I'm zero. I'm going to get the small box. You're going to get the small box? Okay. Go for it. That's pretty good. Gets us up to 100 drams. All right. And then... Yeah, you want to hit O. O. Pam will have to pony up 15 drams of fresh water to even up the trade. Agreed? Yes. Why, yes. That would be most agreeable. Trade complete. So we can escape this now. You can escape that too. All right, let's do a little bit of management. First of all, let's find out what that box is. Uh, inventory. We have a couple of weird artifacts. Examine. <laughs> it's a box crayons. of crayons. Woo. I should have known that. It's been a while. I should have known it was a box of crayons. That was not worth it. The box of crayons is fun. I like the box of crayons. You can draw on stuff if you want. If you want like graffiti on the walls and stuff, you can draw with crayons. Um, what is our second thing? Oh, that's Fix a good get. Spray foam. That's a really good get. We definitely want to keep that. All right. Can't uh, fix a human heart with fix it spray foam. You can't. Yeah, no. All right, so, um, let's have a quick look at our inventory. Or sorry, equipment. Nine. Nine. All right. Combustion cell empty. So your your structural examination bracelet is currently unpowered. He Not has a name. Wally is currently unpowered. Thank you. Is our nano pneumatic jackhammer powered? Hit it, uh, it's since it's uh, so long we can't actually see the chem cell, so it's very, very low. low. Do we have a replacement cell? Let's let's see if we can we replace We had the cell. a cell that got eaten by something. Hmm. Do we don't or have rusted? any others? I don't think so. If you hit replace cell, it'll generally tell you, but it's fine. I don't think that there are any others. Uh, no. Huh. no, you have none. You can only remove the cell. Okay, that's fine. So why don't we break here? I mean, uh, our next goal is basically to get to Gritgate. Um, which was the quest that our guy gave you. You're you're actually kind of done in Jopa for now. Uh, okay. And maybe forever. I mean, uh, I tend to never come back to Jopa once I've left for Gritgate because uh, in terms of like a town that provides services, Gritgate is just far superior. Definitely want to pet Sisyphus before we go. I, I guess I've been informed recently that it is actually pr pronounced as Sisyphus. Yeah, the T is silence. Silent. The, the T is silent. invisible. No, I can see it. It's just silent. All right. Uh, Do you have any uh, final thoughts? I gotta get some cells, man. They're pretty common. We should be able to find some. Maybe we want, we want to go to our historic site next. All right. That, that could be fun. All right, well, uh, okay. if uh, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Do it. Do it.